classifié. Genesis what? Genesis chapter 20. 20 and verse number 1. Verse 1. From the NIV for me? Yes. As I Chris read. Now Abraham moved on from there. Please. Do you have your Bible here? Amen. Do you have it with you? Yes. Okay. Let's go now. Now Abraham moved on from there into the region of the Negev and lived between Kadesh and Shaw. For a while he stayed in Gerar, and there Abraham said of his wife Sarah, She is my sister. Everybody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody say, She is, she is my sister. My sister. She is, she is my sister. Am I right? It means that there is no way you can marry your own sister. So if indeed you said that this one, this lady is indeed my sister, then as a king, Abimali, I have the right to marry your sister. And Abimelech, the king, sent for her. Said that you must bring her. And with your naked eyes, here comes the guys and said that, Samson, you said that Eva is your sister. Now the king wants Eva at once. <laughs> Check your heart. I am not a doctor or, you know, I don't know. Your heart rate will move to what? 210. Because you said she is my sister. And the word of the Lord said that Sarah was beautiful. Beautiful lady. It means that Abraham liked good things. Shout hallelujah. So as a lady in this house, I want you to know that you are beautiful. Amen. Amen. Some ladies check beauty, you know, excuse me, with your facial wise, uh, with the curves and everything. But church, let me tell you this. Beauty goes beyond that. Beauty is your character. And Sarah had a good character and with the physical body touch, Sarah was number one. Beautiful. So that is why when the king saw uh, Sarah, you know, the king was what? Was happy. And said that I want this one. Shout amen. Am I talking to somebody? Am I speaking to someone? And how can you say that this my wife indeed is my sister? Number one, it means that Abraham lied. Am I right? Yes. Number one. If you say this lady is your sister, she is beautiful and I the king, Abimelech, I want her. So they took her uh, Sarah, am I right? From her brother. <laughs> to the king's palace. Which I can, I, I can tell you that that night, Abraham could not sleep, sleep at all. He was walking, moving around. Because where the place that they gave them was not far from the palace. Yes, was not far. So Abraham was moving, was stretching here. And, oh, the living God, I command the angels to protect my wife. Oh, Father, I release spirit of impotency right now upon the king. Oh, there shall be no performance. Holy Ghost started speaking.
Started what? And do you know the reason why Abraham said that this lady is my sister? Because of that land, church, they didn't fear God. So for him to say, this lady is my wife, because Sarah was beautiful, they would kill Abraham and someone would take Sarah. That is how powerful women, women, Ah, you have no idea. Am I talking to somebody? So the question right now is, did Papa Abraham <laughs> indeed did a right a thing or wrong? Right? Can I see your hand? Right? He did the right thing. Let me see your hand. Put your hands down. He did the wrong thing. Let me see your hand. Uh, he could have been uh, bold, am I right? And to say that this is my... Uh, Jennifer, uh, uh, which area do you... Bold. Boldness. Boldness, people, be on your feet and let me see. Boldness. Bold. God loved the truth. So Abraham could have said that she is my wife. Let, let, let them kill me or something. Uh -huh. So you guys are the boldness people. May you be seated. May the living God be with you. Shout hallelujah. And those who believe that Abraham did the right thing to lie, may you be on your feet right now. Oh. Eh? Shout hallelujah. <laughs> I have the answer for you. Do you want me to answer you? The answer is, when you get to that same level, you will know what to do. <laughs> Nobody will tell you what to do. Wait till that time comes. comes. Then you will do and what you coming. want to do. I will say that this one is right or this one is wrong. Wait! If you can see guns, knife, and the whole thing waiting for you, wait. Shout hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Are you enjoying the teachings? God is about to do something. Shout hallelujah. It means that church... Do not allow fear to overcome you. You have to overpower fear. Do not allow fear to what? Because when you allow fear, let's take it right now. This is uh, Stella Martinson, okay? And this one, the mantle is called fear. When you allow the fear to cover you, do you know what is going to happen? At the end of the day, is that fear that will begin to toss you up and down. Fear can take you to a place which you don't belong. Fear can take you to the house of Juju people, Afa people. Fear can cause you to do many things. But if you will overpower what? Fear. At the end of the day, you will be the one that will tell fear what to do. But fear will not tell you what to do. Because Abraham was afraid. Fear. That is why he said, the lady is my sister. Because Sarah was beautiful. And said unto his mind that indeed they will kill me because of my wife. So I have no choice than to use a strategy. And to say that this lady is my sister. And the king Abimelech church did the right thing. And the king was a beautiful wife. A beautiful lady. So brother, you shall be my uh, in-law. Brother-in-law. I can tell you that if the Lord was not on his side, eh, Abraham could have uh, uh, got a uh, uh, heart attack and 
And that. But God saved Abraham. And look at what happened, Chris. Read. Then King, then Abimelech, King of Gerah. Hold on. Then Abimelech, King of what? Gerah. Gerah. Uh -huh. Sent for Sarah. Sent for Sarah. And took her. And took her. Sent for Sarah and took her. The Bible didn't mention it was a night time or day or something. Which Abraham would say, Sister, may the Lord be with you. Goodbye. Brother, goodbye. <laughs> and look at what happened. Go ahead. Verse 3. Verse 3. But God came to Abimelech. Hold on. Listen to me. Those who love God and those who fear God, God will always fight for you. Thank you, Jesus. He will always fight on your behalf. Amen. And verse 3, do you know what happened? <laughs> but the Lord came to Abimelech. In a dream. In a dream. One night. One night and, said and said to him. You are as good as dead. Because of the what? Of this. Of this. You are as good as what? As dead. Because of what? Because of the woman you have taken. She hold on. Hold on. Watch this. I know. That God always sent his angels. To do job. Angel Gabriel. The time God wanted to release his son Jesus, God sent who? Angel. The time God wanted to speak to Samson's uh, mother, you know, all of them, the Lord released an angel. But the time Abimelech wanted to, excuse me, pardon me, please, wanted to have something with uh, Abraham's wife. God did not send angels, but God came down. <laughs> God, you have to send angel. That is the right protocol. But God evaluated the principles in heaven and said that this one, I don't have to release angels, but I have to come down. And he came down. Today, because of you, God will not send angels, but the living God will come down. And do you know the reason why God came down? The reason why God came down to Abimelech and said that you are as good as what? Dead person. Do you know the reason why? Because Abraham was a prophet. The Lord said, do not take that woman. Because the man that you want to take her, what? His wife, the man is a prophet. The Bible didn't say that the man is a pastor. The Bible didn't say that the man is a, a, what? a teacher. The Bible didn't say that the man is an evangelist. But the Lord said that the man that you want to take his wife, that man is a prophet. And the Lord himself came down. Am I talking to somebody? It means that God himself today want to do some kind of assignment in your life. Which he doesn't have to send angels. But he himself will leave his throne and come down and speak and warn your enemies and warn those who want to harm you. And tell them that they have to be very careful because you are a prophet. Yes, Lord. 
And who is a prophet? The one who represents God. I'm not talking about the fake ones. The four one ones represent juju juju thing. No. A genuine prophet represents who? God. God. And study the Bible. Study the Bible. Abraham did not say that say yet the Lord. Sister, I can see this, I can see this, I can see that. Thing. God is about to do something. But do you know the reason why the living God used the word the man is a prophet? Because Abraham had a covenant with God. Amen. Number one. And Abraham, God wanted to use Abraham and Sarah and to release me and you. The time Abimelech wanted to, pardon me, please, wanted to sleep with that lady in church, you and me, we were inside who? Abraham and Sarah. That woman was a nation. Do you know what God has already deposited in you? Do you know what you carry? Do you know whom you are in the Lord? You are a nation. <laughs> God didn't send angels, am I right? And said, go and warn uh, Abimelech. But the Lord came down. And when he came down, what happened? Chris, read. But God came to Abraham in a dream one night. No, no, no. no. Which Abraham? Check it. I'm sorry. But God came to Abimelech in a dream Uh one night Uh and said to him. And said to him. You are as good as dead because of the woman you have taken. Uh She is a married woman. Number one. She is a what? A married woman. Uh Go ahead. Now Abimelech had not gone near her. Oh, thank God. Yes. <laughs> thank God. The night, that same night, Papa Abimelech wanted to shoot. Was the same night the Lord visited him. Watch this. Oh. It means that Sarah was inside his what? Polish was not the same day. Maybe Sarah went there or something. They took Sarah to that place for maybe a week or a month. And the man was still, you know, examines, uh, you know, Sarah and everything. Am I right? And the day the man wanted to sin, that was the same night God visited him. And he said, number one, he said what? The married man. Uh-huh. Verse four. Verse four. Now Abimelech had not gone near her. So he said. It means that Abimelech didn't do anything with who? Sir. Uh-huh. So he said, Lord. Then he said, Lord. Will you destroy an innocent nation? Did he not say to me, she is my sister? And didn't she also say, he is my brother? Sarah too said that indeed. He is my brother. It means that Papa Abraham and Sarah, you know, plan. And said that, honey, if you don't say that I am your brother, and you are my sister, I will go. Do you want me to die? Sarah said, "Mm -hmm, no way. Because of that, I will defend you. And she too said, he is my brother brother. It means that Sarah confirmed and now the king has every right to have that beautiful lady. So Lord, you can't destroy me. You cannot. Because the man didn't say that this woman is my wife. 
And guess what happened? I have done this with a clear conscience yes. and clean hands. Uh -huh. Then God said to him in a dream, Yes, I know you did this with a, clean, with a clear conscience. And so I have kept you from sinning against me. God will always keep you from sinning against him. He will bring some certain things on your path so that you will not sin against him. He will try to block you. He will try to do some certain things. Shout glory be to God. Somebody that I warned, you know, when I went to Africa, the, uh, I, I think around this year, around May or something, you know. A friend of mine, a very rich guy, very powerful guy, called him and said, Kojo, when did you arrive? I said, oh, uh, it was yesterday in the hotel. I said, let me pray for you. I started praying. I said, you have to be very careful. You have to serve God. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Do not depend on your money, your houses, and the whole thing. Repent. Oh, yes, you know, I know that the call of God is upon my life and the whole thing. Yeah, I will do. I say, yes. Prophetic word is upon your life. Whether you like it or not, one day, one day, one day, you will be a preacher. And he confirmed that somebody told him and the whole thing. I said, okay, I have spoken. I said, by the way, who is this? The lady's name, you know, came while I was talking to the guy on the... Uh, uh, the name guy said, ah, why? I said, I don't know. God just, uh, you know, told me and I want to know. Who is. And the, I said, be very careful. You brought that lady in your, uh, your house. And excuse me, church, pardon me. You wanted to enjoy that girl. And the girl said, huh? Yeah. You are dangerous. We used to be friends in the whole thing. Say, Kojo, did he mention prophet? Oh, Kojo, you are dangerous. I said, I'm dangerous for what? He said, how did you know? Nobody. I said, that night, you over uh, uh, slept. You were lucky. That girl is HIV positive. I heard the word, Jesus! <laughs> Kojo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming, hold on. I said, hold on for what? He said, I'm calling somebody right now. I think 30 something minutes ago, they called me and said, I called the guy, blasted her. I told the guy, don't call me again. He yeah, called you, I overslept. I wake up in the morning and I started feeling some weakness in the whole thing. I told the lady, go and come the next day. Do you know that the lady, uh, you know, called me and said, I am somewhere in the whole thing and the lady didn't come. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. The Lord put a deep sleep. On him. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Yes. What happened, Chris? <laughs> God bless you, Marcus. Here. Church, am I giving you right to change? Chris, go ahead. Verse 6, let me Verse read it six. again. Then God said to him in a dream, Yes, I know you did this with a clear conscience, and so I have kept you from sinning against me. Mm -hmm. That is why I did not let you touch her. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. That is why I did not let you touch, touch her. It means that the mm -hmm. man was about to touch. Touch not my anointing. And do my prophet know her. No. That is why I did not let you touch, touch her. Now return the man's wife. Where, where is Pastor Sidon, Pastor Peter? Oh, okay. Where is Pastor Peter? Because of his back. Eh? Okay, go ahead. He Verse 7. Kind of pace. Yes. Now return the man's wife, for he is a prophet. Hold on. Now return. read it again. Look now at this. hold on. Now return the man's wife, for he is a prophet. Now return the man's wife, because the man represents me. He is my what? My 
the prophet, he represents you. Return his wife. If not, can I tell you something? Abimelech did not touch the woman. Am I right? But brought that woman into what? Uh, his palace. But do you know, to even uh, 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 brought that woman, eh? do you know what happened to him? I am going to tell you something. To just allow the lady to enter his palace, church, God punished him. And what about him? Touch him. <laughs> Who is that Sarah? Is you as a woman, a lady in this house? And who is that a prophet? Is you as a man. Go ahead, Chris. Now return the man's wife. For now he return is the a man's prophet, wife. Because he is a prophet. And he will pray for you. Hold on. And you will hold on. Pray. Hold on. He is a prophet. Return the man's wife. Now he will pray for you. And you will leave. And you will be healed. And what happened? Hmm. But if you do not return her. But if you do not return her. You may be sure that you and all yours will die. Church, do not in your life take what doesn't belong to you. Do not in your life take what doesn't what belongs to you. Let's take it pastors. Your offering doesn't belong to me. It belonged to who? God. Somebody came to the office this morning, my office. Robert, I want to do something which I won't mention a name. I started something, you know, I want to pay, give the, my first fruit. Was me and him in my office. Just two of what? Us. Am I right? Just two. Put something. Powerful money, get him to $30,000. Shout hallelujah. I said, let me pray for you. Get him to, it's left with just 400 and something, it will be 30000 I said, kneel down. Father, may you touch this one, the whole thing. And I told him, it belonged to the church. I told him, it belonged to the what? The church. I'm going to give it to Stella. And I was out there, I asked, uh, I told Eric, my brother, to I think somebody to call me if Estella, uh, and Mr. Joe, the security guy said, that Stella and Victor, they are not here, I think they will be here very soon. Uh, shout hallelujah. And it's with me. After the service, the woman must what? Must get it. Because it belongs to God. I can't take it. I can't what? Take it. It was me and him. We'd get into 3,000. Ah, I can buy things all <laughs> and, and enjoy all. But at the end of the day, the problems in the whole thing and the reason why the guy put that seed in the whole thing will come upon me. And I don't want any cares upon my life. Because it belonged to who? God.
And at the end of the day, the Lord can boldly say that indeed, this is a faithful servant. God can use some certain things, small, small, petty, petty, petty things to test you. How you would do things as a preacher. And it's a test. If you can pass the test, God will bring big things. Because he knows that you are faithful. Stella didn't know. Nobody, nothing I could have. But the papa over there was in my office. Papa over there is in my house. Papa over there is everywhere. He knows everything. Because it belonged to the church. That is called faithfulness. When you are alone, what do you do? When you go somewhere without your husband or your wife, what do you do? Some married women remove their rings and put it in their bag. Men who approach them, are you married? No, 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 no. You were disgrace to the society. You are now hiding your, your ring. Why don't you put it on? Why don't you what? Put it. Why do you have to hide it? And some men too, they will remove it. God sees everything. That is why God indeed blessed Abraham. Because Abraham was a faithful servant. Before God will promote somebody, as you sitting here with due respect, God will first test you. In so many ways, God will test you. People will be around, God will test you. No one will not be around, God will test you. You will be in your room, God will test you. You will travel, you will go somewhere, the living God will test you. So can God boldly say that indeed, Tabe will not disappoint me? Can God, the living God, boldly say that no matter Satan, what you do, Job will never disown me? Am I right? Can the living God trust you? Faithfulness. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want the living God to promote you, to lift you higher, church, you must fear the Lord. Some Christians think that only fornication is a, a sin. No. No, 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 no. It's not only fornication. Lying is a sin. To steal is a sin. Gossip about someone is a sin. So many things. To steal church will pave way for the enemy to attack you. Because Satan himself will see you as an unfaithful person. And it will give him way to come and attack you. It's not only fornication. Sin goes beyond fornication. Even the kind of things you have here against your brother is a sin. So you always have to check it. You have to let your mind be free. At times you can go through some kind of hardship, church. That will be the time God will test you. 
that you may need $1,000 or $500 to support something, your house rent or something, that will be the time somebody will come and say that, Robert, I pledge you in the whole thing, a thousand. I want to uh, uh, give it to you. One time somebody, you know, I think a, a guy went to Pastor Sida. was thousand dollars, am I right? And uh, Pastor Sida told the guy, go to prophet and let's prophet bless you first. <laughs> so I was in my car, the guy came, prophet, I, I pledge you a thousand dollars in the whole thing. I said, pledge you, pledge you. Didn't mention that Pastor Sida told him to, to come. The guy said, I said, give it to me. Kneel down. Let me pray for you. I pray for the guy. And I was holding the envelope. I said, where is Pastor Sida? Pastor Sida, Pastor Sida, come. The guy, this guy just came. Do you know what Pastor said? Prophet, yeah, the guy came and I told him to come so that uh, you can pray for him. And after that, I will get the money up. I could have looked to left and right. No one will be around. Thousand Laja, right here. No knowing that Sida knows already. <laughs> knows already. Look at this kind of mess before God <laughs> and before your assistant pastor. Your respect is gone. <laughs> be faithful. Faithfulness is very important. Be faithful as a Christian. Be faithful as a married uh, uh, woman. Be faithful as what? Married man. Your workplace, women will be chasing you. Let them know that you have a wife. Your desk, your table, put your wife's picture. When you begin to type in, type in, type, type in, am I right? You watch the face of your wife. Ah, and picture her. Ah, when you come home, you will see her. Some of you, when your phone rings, eh, and when you are in a washroom, the way you open the door and jump from your washroom to your Get bed and take your phone. <laughs> you can't leave your phone. Your, your passcode is not numbers. <laughs> what are you hiding? From your, <laughs> from your partner. Your passcode, at times if you want to, uh, you know, decode or something, your, your wife will be sitting here or your husband, you will turn to a northwest. Your wife is coming, hey, hey, what are you... Sit down. Because the things you have, I love you, babe, not less than 100 times. I can't wait to see you, babe, 50 times. When can we meet, babe? You don't call your wife, babe. And you are calling someone, babe. You need deliverance. <laughs> Babe, is he your baby? <laughs> and as a grown up man, your wife even doesn't call you babe. And the small girl, you put your head here and will be rubbing your back, babe, babe. And with your big head, you two will be turning them like this. <laughs> May the Lord have mercy on you. <laughs> Am I talking to someone? Oh, honey, can I have hundred dollars to buy something? No, 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 I don't have it. No, I haven't received my pay something. I don't have any of it. Your wife with the waiter, I don't have it. But if you ping, ping, test, babe, I miss you. Where are you now? Babe, I can't wait to see you. I need 200. Oh, babe, wait. Where are you now? 
I'm going to meet you right now, 200. Your wife asked you about 100, you didn't give. Babe, 200. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. We'll be baby you are, baby you are, and one day we'll kick you somewhere. And when you come back, is that woman or that man that will what? Hug you. Your children even can't eat good. And you are taking care of someone's babes' sons. It's a curse. Your own seed, you can't take care of them. And your babes' children, you go there first thing in the morning, take them to school. And your children have to walk. Hey, you, you need, if this one, this place is not America, there are some people, they don't need oil. You have to bring them dirty snap, bam, bam, and that gymnastic and that foolishness will disappear. I'm telling you. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Chris read verse 8. Verse 8. Early the next morning. Hold, Abim- hold on. Early the next morning. Abimelech. Abimelech. Summon all his officials. <laughs> summon all his what? Officials. officials uh-huh. And when he told them all. And when he told them. Happened, uh-huh. They were very much afraid. All of them. <laughs> Mr. King, you said what? He said, hey. And they were very much what? Afraid, afraid because uh, that man was a prophet. Chris, go ahead. <laughs> then Abimelech called Abraham. Then Abimelech called Abraham. In and said. In and said. What have you done to us? How have you wronged you that you have brought such great guilt Upon me and my kingdom. Hmm. You have done things to me. That verse you, what? That's verse uh, 9. Uh-huh, let's go. You have done things to me that should not be done. And Abimelech asked Abraham, What was your reason for doing this? Uh-huh. 11. Abraham replied, I said to myself, There is surely no fear of God in this place. And they will kill me because of my wife. Besides, she really is my sister, the daughter of my father, though not of my mother. And <laughs> look at the strategy look of at the Abraham. Story now, story. <laughs> Pastor Rick, can you see it? The strategy of what? Can you see it? Look at some of strategy. A lot of story now. <laughs> Abraham, you have to be straightforward, person. That uh, she is my wife. What? But I said yes. You know, she is my wife, but though she is my sister, which one is which? <laughs> Abraham, be straightforward, man. <laughs> when God gives you a handsome guy, you have to protect that guy. Beautiful lady, protect that beautiful lady. Do not allow the facial type of expression, church, deceive you. The lady of the round face, dark lady, chocolate, uh, what did you call it? Uh, 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 Swiss one. Eh? Uh-huh. Dark one, pink one. Oh, I love those things in our church. It's good. But let me tell you this, your character. Beauty can take you in. But your character can send you out. Be very careful about your character. The way you do things. A beautiful lady, beautiful lady, a guy will come and say that I love you. You know you are beautiful in the whole thing, church. If you don't take care, your character will what? Take you out. Will chase you out. The reason is that when you talk as a beautiful lady, church, your talks, they are not good. The way you talk. The way you insult men. The way you do things. 
when the lady become upset or angry or something, church, would we'll just raise a hand, slap the husband, bam, because this is America. You can't do that. With humility, Sarah called Abraham, yes, my Lord, because you are the Lord over me. Man is the head. And how can you cut the head? That is why so many homes, church, the homes, they are confused now. Because now, I have no shear, I have eyes here, I have ears and everything, am I right? So, uh, this is the head. And now, because I have this, I can lead everyone to the right path, am I right? But if this one is not, do you know what will happen? I'll be hitting the walls and the whole thing, and later on, I will fall down, am I right? So, why am I saying this? If your husband is the head, allow him to lead. Because when you cut the head, when your husband begins to hit the walls, you as a woman will hit the walls. Because he is a leader. Leading. Some husbands with due respect, they are slow the way they do their things. That at times, if you don't take a, you know, as a woman, you will try to do this, and your husband will always discourage you in the whole thing. We have some men, excuse me, that they are like that. Am I right? But please, know how to deal with a whole thing. Like Abigail and Nabal. A wise woman that married Mr. Fu. Because the, the name Nabal means foolish. A fool. And this woman marries that. You, you know, woman, you knew that the name Naban was what? And you went out. So you have to take it. David protected them, did mighty things, and got a visit test and, you know, wanted to enjoy just one sheep. And because the man, you know, was a Mr. Fool, the man rejected the offer of who? Uh, 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 David. And because of that, David wanted to kill all of them. And when Abigail heard, Abigail did not consult uh, 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 her husband and said that this Mr. Fool will not allow me. I must do something. And Abigail prepared something for herself. Met uh, David halfway, knelt before David and said that, King, may you spare my life and the life of my servant and the life of my husband. You know the meaning of his name. <laughs> Am I the one who wrote it? You know the meaning. It means that I married a, excuse me, a foolish man. So please spare his life. David was tapping. Ah, ah, <laughs> woman. <laughs> Woman, if it's not you, if it's not you, if it's not you, if it's not you, deep down in me, he was praying. He said that I like this woman. If I can get this woman, this woman can save my kingdom. A woman that met me halfway and saved the life of her husband when I get such woman. As a woman of God in this house, you must have the wisdom of Abigail and to support your husband and to push your husband forward. The way you talk. People can run from you. Though you have a nice face, you have nice body, but men will run. That at times, if you don't take care, you may think that there are demons fighting you. No. The way you behave, your character, the way you do your things, you are too pompous. You have to calm down. Me, 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 me. Men, they are watching. Me, I will not allow men to override me. No way. Ah, no way. Imba, no. Ah, over my dead body. No, no. When you tell me sit, I will tell you sit. We are equal. We are in America. Church, who told you? Do not let the system, church, change you. 
I want you to know that some whites, some blacks, and the whole thing, they respect their husband. But we, when we travel from Africa to this place, we want to overdo things. Do not forget about your culture. You want to Americanize it, and what about the, the what about the citizens in the, uh, this place? Some wives respect their husband. If they want to take decision, they have to consult their husband. But you, when you come and when you hear that, just one way: uh, Can I see your supervisor? Can I see your supervisor? You think that you are above everyone? Calm down. Shout, Amen. Why? Because now you know 911. <laughs> Why? Now, because you know restraining uh, 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 order. order. <laughs> because now you know the meaning of alimony. <laughs> and child support. <laughs> now, because you know about child support. Your beauty as a Christian is your real character. Your character is more important than your what? Physical. The physical things that you see is just bonus. It's bonus. But the real one, excuse me, pardon me, I have just four minutes and I'm done. Watch this. At times you can see a beautiful lady, a beautiful lady with a guy, which you, with your own physical mind, you would think that there is no way this beautiful girl has to be with who? This, you know what I'm talking about, this mugu mugu guy. <laughs> but you know what? Who knows? Maybe because of the character of the guy. The beauty that is what inside that the physical eyes can see. Maybe the way the guy talks to her. Maybe the way the guy treats her with respect. But a beauty, excuse me, a handsome guy, you don't respect anyone because you believe that you have nice face. You have six pack. You don't respect women. When they talk, sit down, you women, sit down. You don't respect women. Sit down, sit down. Church, when you insult a woman, you insult your mother. When you belittle a woman, you belittle your mom. So if you respect your mom and I respect my mom, you must respect your wife. You must respect other women. Because every woman is a mother. Your beauty and the physical ones, they are bonus. They are what? They are bonus. But men of these days, we don't check this. We check this. May the, may the living God forbid, and be, please pardon me. What about when the person had an accident, something, and that a uh, nice nose deformed? What about the person, you know, will be cooking and let's take it hot water or something here. That the beauty thing that you see. Can you still live with that person? Can you hold his or her hand in terms of difficulty and walk on the street boldly and say that this is my love, the one I love. That is called the real love. So the men and the women that check the facial expression and hold the check, when something happens to you, they will run. But the real love will stay. Will take you to hospital. Will cook for you. Do mighty things in the whole thing. That is called a you need that kind of a man or that kind of a woman in your life. 
if you want to choose a party. Not those that when you bring money, I love you, I love you, I love you. Try to test her. Stop giving her money for a week. And if you don't hear any, I love you, I love you, it's a red card right away. Some women likes money. They don't care about your character. If you can put food on the table for them to go shopping, uh, cruises and the whole thing and enjoy uh, from here to Bahamas and the whole thing, church, oh, they don't care what they want in church. That woman is not a good woman. If you don't have money today, we'll go for another man. <laughs> by, the can, by the time you come to your room, your house, you see another man on top of your bed and you die right away and go to heaven or hell. Good. Am I talking to somebody? A guy that always, you know, pressure you, I need money, I need money. When you bring money, you know, babe, I love you. You know, I will see you. When the money finishes, the guy will run and you are still giving that guy's money. With the money, that guy is not your husband. You are just a boyfriend. Church, that woman, you need deliverance. I'm in love. I'm in love. And you'll be giving money. You are in love. Continue. I'm in love. One day, one day. The person has been chopping your money and getting to 30000 And you are still giving. That you know that he has this, uh, this girlfriend here. He has two children here. Zimbabwe, three. Uh, Serion, four. This one, a whole thing. Church. Have not less than five children. You have to think about child support. So the moment you enter into that kind of relationship, church, the man has the responsibilities already. Five child support. How can he finish paying the five uh, 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 and, uh, and take care of you? And you come to your prophet, I'm in love, I'm in love. How many children does he have? Five. Uh, from one mother, no, 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 five mothers, you know, different in the hotel. Ay! Red card right away. Chris, go ahead, and I will finish everything. Verse 13. Verse 13. And when God had me wander from my father's household, I said to her, this is how you can show your love to me. Everywhere we go, Say to me, he is my brother. Verse 14. Abraham. Everybody say, Abraham, stop those things. <laughs> say, say, Abraham, <laughs> stop those things, stop those things. <laughs> You've already lied. Don't use psychological type of something to defend yourself in the whole thing. That she is mine. Is it your mother's uh, 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 daughter? That lady is not your sister, so stop everything. You know, but he wanted his uh, side what story, am I right, to look good before the king. That's why he started talking. Uh, uh -huh, go ahead. Then Abimelech brought sheep and cattle. Hold on. Though Abraham lied, am I right? <laughs> and God warns Abimelech and said that be very careful. Be careful. And look at what the king did. After the king asked Abraham, is that your sister in the whole thing? You could have brought something upon us in the whole thing. Do you know what Abimelech did? He brought what? Sheep. Sheep. Cattle. Cattle. Male and female slaves and gave them to Abraham. And he returned Sarah. It was in the form of compensation. Compensation. Today I am here to announce to you. Anyone that have kept you in his or her house uh, for three years, two years, one year, four years, seven months, today I stand as a prophet of God, declare unto you that the word that is coming right now is taking you from the palace of Abimelech, and Abimelech have no choice than to compensate you with sheep, cattle, females, and the males servant in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God is going to compensate you and you will depart from Jira with what? Mighty blessings. Abraham Amen. departed from Jira with blessings. Plus servants and 
May 7. Yes, Lord. Verse. Lord, take your time. Yeah, the verse 16. Uh -huh. To Sarah, he said, I am giving your brother a thousand. No, no, no. Verse 15. Verse 15. Read, read 15. Uh -huh. And Abimelech said, And Abimelech said, My land is before you. My land is before you. Live wherever you like. <laughs> Bonus. Look at this. And Abimelech said, My land is before, it's before you. you. Live yeah. what? Live wherever, wherever you like. You like. Apart from the main servants and servants and the whole thing, they say, Live what you want. Wherever you like. Take it. And what happened? Verse 16. Verse 16. To Sarah, he said, I'm giving your brother a thousand shekels. Hold on, of hold on. <laughs> I'm being malik. Clap your hands for Abim Malik. Abim Malik started teasing them. He said that, Madam, I am no. going to give your brother. Your brother what? Your brother. Uh -huh. A thousand shekels. A thousand shekels. Of silver. Of silver. This is, this is to cover the offense against you before all who are with you. What you is? are completely vindicated. Oh my God. Vindicated, am I right? Yeah, yes, sir. The king compensated who? Abraham and Sarah. No, Sarah. Sarah. Thousand what? Thousand shekels. <laughs> about that offense. Offense about what? To just take you to my palace. Not to touch you to just take you thousand. What about the touching? <laughs> it could have been a whole nation. Praise God. And I'll be done. 17. Then Abraham prayed to God. Hold on. Then Abraham prayed, prayed to, God. to God and God healed Abimelech. Hold on. Abraham prayed was a prophet. And God gave Abraham healing ministry. Yes. Healing power yes. at, that time. at that time. And he prayed to God. And God, and God healed, healed Abimelech, his the, wife. Hold on, hold on. The king was sick. Of. <laughs> All the nonsense that, excuse me, that he wanted to do. The man was sick. And his own household. Read, read. Uh -huh. Yes. He prayed to God and what happened? And God healed Abimelech. And God healed Abimelech. His wife. His wife. And his slave girls. And his slave so girls. So they could have children so, again. Oh my God. Hold on. So they could have children, children again. again. Are you done? Are you done? No. Go ahead. For the Lord had closed up every womb in Abimelech's household. Because of who? Because of Abraham's wife, Sarah. We are not ordinary people. Though. Because he is a prophet. Hey. Chris, can you read it? 18, yes. Sir. Read. For the Lord Hold had up. for the Lord had closed up. Had what? Closed, closed up. up what? Every womb. Every womb in Abimelech's household because of Abraham's wife, Sarah. Church, can I tell you something? When you go home, I would like you to read this again, okay? No, watch this. <laughs> Is that not Abimelech that took uh, uh, Sarah? Am I right? Hold on. In a clear one, why God has to close the womb of his wife 
and the slave girl's wife. In his household, why? I am a slave. I didn't know anything. God, I am innocent. Why do you have to close my windows? Do you know what? Because all of them, church, they were under Adonai. Be very careful about the things that you do. May your hands be clean. Be very careful as a prophet, as a pastor. Do not put your hands, someone that you call yourself a man of God, into Satan's food. Do not mention the name of Jesus to preach, prophesy, miracles and the whole thing, whereby your source is somewhere else, wrong source. You will bring curse upon your wife and your children. Near future. Stay in God's own line. Wait for him. Do what he wants you to do. Do it from pure heart. Because if you are from God, you know. Because the things you do shows that you are from God. From God. Yes, daddy. Where you go midnight, you know yourself. What you do as a Christian sitting yes, here. Lord. There was a time a woman came to me in Ghana, Africa. He said, Prophet, am I a witch? <laughs> we just finished church. I said, Madam, this question here. But if you're a witch, you know. But what do you have to ask me? <laughs> if in, let me tell you, which I can tell you that indeed the woman. Indeed, was a witch, and wanted to ask me. I said, "If you're a witch, you know." The woman said, "No, I can I?" I said, "Madam, so midnight, when you turn into something to demons camp, you trying to tell me that you don't know this and this and that, Madam, you know it yourself." <laughs> oh, Prophet, thank you very much. I said, "May the living God be with you." Everybody shout hallelujah. <laughs> How can I tell you? You know yourself. As you are sitting here, if you are not good, you know. Because midnight, the places you go, you know. You know the agenda God, Satan has given you. An agent, you know. So do not come and test me. And say, the prophet, how do you see me? You know yourself. <laughs> and God knows you more than. Yes. Am I right? Yes. And one day, one day, he will judge you. So if you know, as I'm standing here right now preaching to you 24-7, prophesying, doing this, and all, if I know myself that I don't, doesn't belong to God in the whole thing, I am just joking. Because I will not receive any reward and my end shall be horrible. Mm. And I will bring curses upon by him, but no far be from me. Because righteous as bold as what? Lion. Because I know that I am from God. And I'm doing the work of God. It gives you boldness. So be very careful about the things, church. You always what? Do. I went to Wise Market. Yeah. You want me to stop? I wanted to tell you something. I went to Wise Market, church. Bought some certain things. Me and uh, Jason, uh, he needed something and we went there. It was 160 do, uh, 63 something something dollars. And the woman gave us double. Double. Went out, I didn't know. Jason said, daddy, wait, let me check something. Ah, the woman gave us uh, double. So we have to go back and give it to them. I said, yes. We went back, you know, saw people and waited. I said, madam, you gave us a double in the whole thing. The woman said, oh my God. I said, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Started watching uh, like this type of color. <laughs> went out. 
and came back. He was watching her. He said, thank you very much. A white woman. Thank you very much. We went out. And when did the next time was water and some things in the whole thing. Started checking the receipt. I found out that some of the water and some of the milk in the whole thing was double, double. That one, I was in my household. I told Pastor Vivian, I said, no, according to the receipt in the hotel, I must go back. I carried the, the milk and those things, went back. I said, they have to check the receipt in the whole thing. I bought this bag because of the, excuse me, it was, excuse me, old woman, you know, that, you know, gave me those things, not knowing that, you know, old woman, the whole thing, you know, very, I said, oh, thank you. So the manager came and said, ah, you, who are you? I said, who are you? For what? Who am I for what? He said, you did it the last time, before. And now, are you not the one that you came with your brother in the hotel? I said, that's my son. <laughs> and, uh, 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 you know, things in the hotel and this and this and this. I said, yes. The woman said, who are you? And I told the woman, I am a pastor. I'm a man of God. A man of God? A preacher? A priest? I said, yes, I'm a priest. He said, that's right. Oh, God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. When you come here, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way do you do your things, we've been watching you. Amen. God will bless you. Shout hallelujah. Which we could have enjoyed the milk and those things. Oh. Do not say that, oh Lord, thank you. This is a blessing. It doesn't belong to you. You know, take it back. Take it back. Do not thank God about those things. That one you can't thank God. It doesn't belong to you. And now, over there, they are my friend. I, I, could, I can be online. Somebody will call me, sir, sir, come here. How are you? I say, how are you doing? Eh? It's not for you. Take it back. Just two milk or cereal or something orange or something, check. That when you take them, it will be like $20. What do you have to bring cash? You eat and the way it will dance in your stomach, eh? <laughs> May the living God bless you. Amen. May your life never Thank be the you, same. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. And God healed them. And they started having children. children again. Because Abraham prayed to God again. Mm. It means that they had children, but because of Sarah, God Blood was the woman. Them. He said, that, hmm, mm. you guys should be one. Wow. Just for her to enter the place, God did what? May the living God lift you up. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. God bless you too. Thank Shout you. Thank you. May you touch your heart. And let me pray for you right now. Begin to thank God right now. Begin to thank him right now. Thank the living God right now. Thank the living God right now.